Mackenzie! Mackenzie! Where are you going? Where are you going? Mackenzie, you don't go that way. I'm gonna Mackenzie! Put my out. You forget about her. What is it? What is it? Are we waiting for her? You gotta improv. You gotta go. You gotta go. You're holding up those. No, 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 don't go that way. Let's just open the curtain, put her out there. Get out there and pose. We have to go curtain. I don't know what's going on with her. all that hysteria about. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get started back up in the junior small group division. This is entry number 87, entitled Rosa Parks. It's not about wanting to win. It's about having to win. It's tough to get a group routine together. And we've been losing week after week. No, I'm gonna forget before we stop. No, don't, don't say it. If you say it, you're, stop. If we don't win with this number, there might not be a group any longer. And I'm serious about that. standing there on stage, like. Brooke has been dancing longer than Maddie has been alive. When she's wandering aimlessly on the stage, I'm thinking, how could she screw up a group like that? Oh, it was your <laughs> heart. Fake I don't even think the judges noticed. You're but fine. Brooke. At least it wasn't the whole day. No, Abby did, and she did. Before Brooke's big mistake on stage, I think we had this one in the bag. Now, I'm not too sure. I just hope the judges didn't notice. First place, entry number 87, Rosa Parks. First place, from... Focus. 
Represent. The pressure I'm feeling this week is because I'm their national winner, so I don't want to let Miss Abby down. Number 890, open, ages 9 to 10, in my heart. She doesn't care that she's gonna burn the kid out. It's not fair. They just threw you out there. Shh, shh, shh. Abby's gonna me. eat me. Shh, she is not. Baby, look at me. She's shh. gonna eat me. No, I've never done this. I've never done this. I was backstage running my number, and all of a sudden I hear the music dying down, and then I hear footsteps coming from the stage, and then I heard Maddie say that she forgot her dance. I'm a little bit nervous from my soul and all that, like from all the chaos backstage. <sighs> all I can do is cross my fingers. Sitting in the audience, I'm looking at Abby, and she's sitting over there crying hysterically. I thought you were supposed to save those tears for your pillow, Ab. Let me think. Nia forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Paige forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Chloe forgot her solo, Abby didn't cry. Maddie forgets her solo, it's waterworks. Abby only cares about one person, and this is a blatant display of that. Tell her how it feels, Chloe, you did it too. And I just feel so bad, because I know exactly how it feels. Well, we've all done it by now. Nobody's perfect. Maddie, honey, you're so hard on yourself. You have to stop this, okay? Dance isn't that important, Maddie. But it's not your whole life. Well, it is your whole life, and it shouldn't be. This is way too much pressure. It's really hard when your daughter's crying, saying she's a failure, and she's nine years old. You're not a failure when you're nine years old. Not at all. And she kept saying, Abby's going to hate me. She's going to hate me. And it really breaks your heart. Abby's not going to hate you, Maddie. But I didn't even hear them announce my daughter. Well, that doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. Just I, 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 mean, but we, I don't want to make excuses. Every kid forgets no. their dance. That's not the deal. She thinks you hate her. <laughs> Aw, see, she thinks you hate her. See, I told you she doesn't hate you. Maddie, it's not your fault, honey. You were such a fabulous kid. <laughs> see, Abby loves you, Maddie, okay? <laughs> she knows what a kid you are. You know what? Those kids that have perfect runs and win everything with their kids, where are they now? They don't want to dance anymore. The kids that still have something to shoot for and something to win, they're the ones that are still working. She screwed up. <laughs> 
just like everybody else. But you know what? Maybe they won't all be vultures and be after her all the time now. Girls, no, uh, 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 we're not gonna play that game. You can see her and talk to her later. We're not gonna play that game. We're not playing the game. I'm not playing the game either. But I also know that my child ran off the stage. I didn't see any tears from you, Abby, when my kid ran off the stage, OK? So point noted. It's a horrific. Care. I don't care. I know you don't care. And that's my point. It's not that incredibly cruel that there is a teacher who's sitting there having a pity party for herself because her student forgot to dance on stage. And other students, every other kid in that room, has had that same experience. They all could have used a dance teacher who cared about them. Awards. I'll take you down. Gotta be supportive of your friends, so. Any child being on stage and forgetting no dance is a, it's humiliating. And it's happened to all and of us. And it's happened to everyone. But there she even said to Maddie, she said she didn't care. for a reason. And she didn't want any excuses. She could care less. Yeah, That's but there was not a tear shed for another child in this company. That's my issue. These are children. And you cry for whatever reason for one child and not the other. They all hurt the and, same. And the kids know. The kids it know. It was so obvious and transparent. I've tried to deny that for many years and give Abby excuses. Because I'm saying that's just the way she teaches. That's just the way she is. But today, it was like black and white. No, it's not. It's not the way she teaches for all. There's a double standard. It's a different system. It is not equal. Why don't you care that all the other kids forgot their dances, but you care for Maddie? My kids have been with you since they were two. I've been with you for 30 years, and you didn't care that Paige came off the stage and forgot her dance. She told Maddie she didn't care she forgot her dance either. She sat there and cried. Abby, for once, was speechless because she knew she was wrong. For once, someone called her on something, and she had nothing to say. Moms, it's awards. Thank you. Thank you. Ready to go. first overall solo. I mean, I haven't really won first in a while, so it feels really good. Who choreographs for you? Miss Abby Lee Miller. Given that Chloe is at the bottom of the pyramid this week for forgetting her number, I am so proud of her that she won. And Abby's nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Where do I go? How come you didn't come to awards? Chloe's your dancer. You should have been there to support her. I think one of the things you always tell them is that save it for your pillow in your hotel room or your bedroom. And you should model that behavior for them and sat in the front row, put your game face on. Come pat on me. Let's just get it over with quicker. Please, that's a visual I do not want to see. I'll give you my tongue lashing, because shame on you. That's what you give the girls. I have nothing to say to these moms right now. And I don't care if I hurt their feelings. They're grown adults. They can handle it. If they want their kids to be nurtured and coddled, they need to take them back to nursery school. You always say, like, you know, act professional, act professional, you know, grow up. This isn't really professional model behavior. I could not just sit there and say nothing after all my child has experienced, and as well as many of those other kids. It's not right. It just is not right. Hi. Hello. Congratulations. You should be proud Good of yourself. Good job, Chloe. Here is proud Good of you. Job. Thank you. Good job, yeah. Chloe. You should be proud of yourself. Abby didn't say, Chloe, you were fabulous. She didn't say, like, oh, Chloe, you know, way to go. That was amazing. Nothing. It was all about Maddie. It's amazing to me. It's amazing. But there's no favoritism. Not at all. All right, guys, see you on the flip side. So Abby says very cryptically, see you on the other side, and leaves the door. Like, what's going on? And the only one in the room who doesn't seem confused is Melissa. She's going home. What do you mean she's going home? She's leaving right now. Does she really leave? This can't be real. I lost a lot of respect for Abby. I really did. Hi. It's just funny how all of a sudden, when things don't go Abby's way, she's running home. I think it's ridiculous you're leaving. 
because you're embarrassed about the way you act earlier today. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm gonna go to the hotel, get my stuff going right to the airport. I need a break. I need a break from these moms, a break from these kids, a break from the yelling. What do you want us to tell the kids? Your kids are fine. They're great. They have been trained even as young as seven years old. They know what to do, and they're fine without me. I have known Abby for a long time, and I have never seen her like this. I'm shocked. moment this is this is who you are you love hip-hop right mm -hmm. this is what they suppressed from you and they took away from you and then they put you in the back like who puts mm -hmm. baby in the back mm -hmm. nobody i can sense the tension and anxiety in the room because these solos are probably the most desired thing since we've been here nia cameron and macy all had breakthroughs this week but Lorian really really wants to win her reputation is on the line and so it's important that these kids bring Lorian gibson's vision to the stage ladies and gentlemen please help me welcome entry number 38 black <laughs> Talented. She's a firecracker, she's soulful, but Macy did forget the choreography, so I need to assess the situation. Hi. It's okay, baby. We ain't worried. Mace, we're not worried. I don't care if you miss every single step. Macy, can't nobody dance like you. The dance steps and the choreography don't make you. They don't make you. You make them when you dance. I am really upset that I just forgot my solo. Abby would have went back and yelled at me, but Miss Gibson is very nice and actually will stick up for me. 